So Ubisoft has just secretly added in some crazy new armor to Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which is currently hidden in the game files. And thanks to the PC modding community, now these guys have actually unlocked all of these items by just digging the files up. And we have some crazy new weapons and armor sets and a whole new mythical pack, which I think a lot of you guys are going to love this particular pack. Now this gear pack is called the Tyranny set, which comes with a whole bunch of gears like helmet to a cloak to the chest piece, as well as bracelets and the boots as well now really cool thing about this set is of course the taranese bracers which has this electric power every time you punch your enemies you kind of put out this electric bolt which kind of shocks all the enemies around you which i think is a really cool feature very much similar to the thor's hammer that is already present in the game now we also have another axe named the thunderer axe which is pretty similar to the thor's hammer but then this is not a hammer this is an axe now you can combine both thor's hammer as well as this axe in order to get a really cool bonus now the way this axe works is pretty much the same as Thor's hammer so every time you hit an enemy you kind of throw out this huge bolt of electric energy which kind of shocks all the enemies in the close proximity and I think that the axe and the bracelet and the entire outfit set looking very similar to the Thor's hammer and finally in the gear set we also have a God's Iron Shield. Now I think the perks on this God's Iron Shield is pretty cool because every time you block an enemy the enemy is pretty much going to be stunned and you can finish the enemy off so this counts for almost every single block that you do now just remember that this is not parry this is blocked so parrying enemy is different and blocking is you just simply holding the l1 key and blocking every single attack so every time the enemy attacks you the block will of course stun them and you can finish them off no matter how high their levels are now we have this Tyranny's helmet which I also think looks really cool. Now there's like this electric animation that comes out of the helmet's eyes which makes the helmet gear stand out from the rest of the gears that we already have in the game especially comparing this to the Thor's helmet. I think this one looks much better and combining this with the Thor's outfit would actually make much more sense in my opinion. Now the perks on the Tyranny's gear set is of course one of the best sets that we have in the game so far. Now the first perk here is of course dealing more bonus damage when completely unarmed. Now, like I said, the bracelets in this armor can actually produce some electric energy, which kind of shocks all the enemies around you, which means that you can also fight your enemies barehanded in order to get some of those perks. And the cool thing about this is it's also going to be increasing the bonus damage every time you're unarmed. Now, we also have another perk, which actually requires to have five of these sets completely in your inventory. And the second perk actually increases your armor, which makes your character much more stronger, gives you more HP and stuff. So I think this is by far one of the best perks and best armors that we have in the game so far in terms of both damage as well as defense now this right here is how the entire armor set looks like now if you turn the cloak on it also looks pretty cool as well now i think that this armor set looks completely different from all the other gears that we already have in the game now most of the gears that ubisoft is releasing lately is pretty much a copy paste kind of an armor set but this one seems to be a little bit different now a huge thanks to lexar's games for actually finding out all of these hidden files and providing us with some of these footage of some of the brand new items that are coming to the game so i'll leave his channel's link down below in the description just in case you guys want to go check it out now we also have a brand new mount which is pretty much a yellow reindeer with an electrified frost horn which looks pretty cool i guess and we also have a brand new yellow skin for your raven which uh, looks pretty unique from all the other ones that we have and i think by far this is one of the best gear sets that you can get in the game so far now the pack has basically everything you need they're also giving us a whole new collection of tattoos which i think looks really cool and doesn't look anything like these tattoos that we already have in the game now that is one thing that i was really looking for something completely unique and something that we don't really have already in the game and finally of course we have the boat customization now i'm not gonna lie though the boat customization i really love the front head of the boat which kind of gives you that zeus statue in front of your boat which i think looks really cool and there's also a thunder animation that keeps playing and due to that reason i also think that ubisoft is is pretty much going to add this entire set to microtransaction and it's most possibly not going to be available in the game as a free content so you'll basically have to pay in order to get these items you'll have to buy those helix credits because that's how ubisoft works lately and unless we don't stop supporting these microtransactions this is basically how ubisoft will keep doing it i also see a ton of other youtube channels that also promote microtransactions really really hard 
So all I would say is if you don't really want to waste a lot of your money, then just stay away from these microtransactions and try to get all of these items from Raider stores. Now, of course, if you guys are looking for a YouTube channel that covers all the Assassin's Creed Valhalla news updates, gameplays, and a lot of stuff about this game, as well as all the open world games. And also, I try to keep all of my videos as short as possible so I don't waste a lot of your time. And I try not to drag my videos all the way to 10 minutes long so I can get those juicy ad revenues. So if short videos is something you guys are interested in, then make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel and also turn on that little bell notification and make sure that you're setting it to all notifications because if you don't do that then youtube is pretty much broken so it's not going to send you guys any of my notifications of my daily videos so make sure you guys do that with that being said hope you guys have a blast today and i'll see you guys on tomorrow's video until then take it easy fams and goodbye